Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you guys had a nice holiday break, whether for like the whole Christmas, New Year period, you know. Everything is kind of like shut down during that time. So hopefully you had a nice holiday. Must feel a little bit uh, after coming back to work for the week. Yeah, for those of you was, who are working, you know. Today was the first day back, so it was not a vibe. But I have been working during the Christmas period as well, so. Yeah, so. But yeah, no, it's not too bad, you know. And then oh, I think some colleges will be starting next, like the, the week after this yeah 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 because yeah. i was trying to think about it i was just like yeah so essentially the monday after this uploads that's when some colleges start because then oh, we get a three-week break and then some colleges will be starting the week after that so you know but yeah it's a new year guys let us know what your new year resolutions are i know we already we already kind of talked about this before so if it's like health and fil- yeah. fitness related if it's whatever goals let us know let us know yeah. i don't have any so I don't know if you started anything, you know, are, are you back on the grind or did you pick up a new grind or what's up with y'all? Um, how was your new year? Yeah, it's calm. it was, wasn't too bad. We went to some shitty fucking club that I did not enjoy. Like it was a Latin night like thing. And like, I don't mind Latin music. Don't get me wrong. I like reggaeton, but the reggaeton that he was playing was not reggaetoning. So it's pretty shit. And I didn't enjoy it, so it was very dry. It was like a kid's DJ party, dude. <laughs> and with the way he was dressed and the way he was, like, sampling the music. And then there was this weird instance where there was, like, this girl who was really drunk. And she was going around dancing with different people or whatever. And then she, like, goes up to him, like, you know, like, to the DJ booth to say something. And then he, like, looks at her and then just starts kissing her. Hi, hi, hi. And she's turned, so she just kisses him back or whatever. <laughs> And then he, like, then goes back to DJ. And I was just like, that's such a weird interaction. But yeah. that's none of my business anyway. So, but, yeah, that was that. How about you? How did you enjoy it? Well, considering I was right next to you, it was just about the same. It kind of sucked, but I felt like there weren't that many options for New Year's Eve. I did feel like the first had more options even on Eventbrite. So I was a little bit surprised. And then I talked to a few people that, like, from work and stuff. And everyone said it was busier on the first yeah, more, I think it was busy enough for the, on the first anyway. Yeah. yeah. There were a few options. They just didn't want to go to those. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know, we move on still. Uh, it's one for the books. And uh, we do it again this year. Yeah. That's a weird one to, yeah. to try to decipher which year it belongs to. Um, anyways, that was our little intro. As we said, hope you all had a great time. And that's it. We can get into today's topic, which is bringing you once again a Would You Rather episode. Because you know why? Because you guys liked the last one. So we said we'd do it again, starting off the year, the first episode of the year. Yeah. What a bang. Well, not really, actually, because the other one came out on New Year's. So that was part of last year. That's that's last year. No, as as in like on the first. It was on the first? Yeah, it was just... Oh. as well because it came out on saturday and it came out okay. on sunday yeah. well then technically this is the first episode recorded in the new year yeah that's all that matters so the first would you rather is would you rather have another 10 years with your partner or a one night stand with your celebrity crush i don't have a celebrity crush come on come so on come i don't on, even on. have a choice in who this is your celebrity crush like the question is See, that's one thing I was thinking when I was making that. I was like, is it a situation of, like, they give you a pass or it's, like, you just end things with your relationship or it's, like, you're guaranteed 10 years with your partner, like, you know, instead of being, like, because, like, realistically, there's no guarantee I'll be with you for 10 years. There is a guarantee that I would hope to be with you for 10 years, but there's no guarantee I'll be with you for 10 years. So is it, like, you're removing that guarantee or it's, like, you're going to break up if you end up with your celebrity crush? I read it as definitely one or the other. Like, yeah. would you rather continue 10 years from now or end everything for one night with your celebrity Oh, uh, yeah. I would just continue 10 years. It makes no sense to end everything for one night with someone. I want someone I have. I don't even have them on the list. Like, I don't Who's have Who's a celebrity crush? I don't have any. You don't have any? No. You're not getting in trouble if you're telling It's me. not even about getting <laughs> in trouble. I don't have any. I don't crush over anyone. Okay, well, mine is. No, just kidding. I don't crush over anyone. So, honestly, the celebrity crushing just doesn't work for me. And that's why I was like, this is a pretty straightforward answer. But 
I was like, well, what are you saying? I know you're going to pick 10 years, but who is your <laughs> celebrity crush? So. Or is crushes? Crushes. I was going to say number one is probably Lori Harvey. And if it's not Lori Harvey, then you need to reevaluate your life. She's, she's very good looking. Yeah. It's like, she's she's definitely my celebrity crush. Um, I think you have Kylie. Like, she's up there, but I don't like her like that. I like her in the, like, oh, like, fun, like, look at interesting yeah. life but not in like a yeah anyways um anthony joshua is a very attractive guy yeah and yeah. i find him more attractive than michael b jordan sorry he's taller like he's taller is that all that matters much taller is no i'm i'm just saying like that is one thing that people overlook he's much taller but i do think michael b jordan has a better looking face though i don't like it as much that's a good face. He has a nice, like, whatever the but hell that more, smile is. It's not as, like, manly. <laughs> Does that make sense? Wow. <laughs> women. Women, women, women. No, you can't say that because women love him. Yeah, I know. Like, w- he has enough attention as it is. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm just coming still, from a different I'm perspective. just coming from, for you guys, because you love to pick nitpick little things, you know, little things. Doesn't have as much of a manly face. Well, he has more money than everyone no. you know. <laughs> this wasn't about that. It was about like one or the other, obviously. Yeah. And then obviously so many like football players up there, you know, with the World Cup and everything. I'm like, oh my god, who's that? And no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not really. Anyways, obviously I would choose ten years because Was she really like let's deep it. I just said I didn't even have one. I didn't even, I couldn't even think of one. She just listed a whole plateau of people. So I think it'd be a hard choice for her. For me, it was very like, yeah. I don't think it'd be hard. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it... Uh-huh. I, think, <laughs> I don't know. I question you more than I question myself. Even I don't though question you're myself. like, oh, I don't have... I much. don't. Cap. I, like, once again, I don't like putting anyone on a pedestal. You know that. No, I, and that's... No, that is fair. Like, I like, understand what you're saying because especially if you're to think, well, my partner... Like... You know, like a one night stand. Like no, it's not because I'm choosing you. my partner. It's simply for the fact that I have no interest in putting anyone in a pedestal. And a, oh my and God. a celebrity, me like piping with celebrity, it just like it gasses them. I'm not gassing them. I'm I, I'm the same person that will never go up to a celebrity to ask them for a photo. Never in my life I will I ever do that. Fruk would no. humble a celebrity so I fast. I have no interest whatsoever because I don't understand. <laughs> like this is actually going to be a little rant. I don't understand why all of you put pedestal. Pedest- like celebrities on pedestals they are normal people that just have more money than you and more clout than you like yes like the ones who have done astronomical amazing things make sense like people who mm. have done something really interesting that you could talk about i don't i don't, once again not put them on a pedestal but i can see why you'd want to talk to them i don't see why you'd want to get a photo with someone i don't want to get a photo of people i know let alone people, someone that i don't know <laughs> that is true and uh, like so fact. it's like you know kind of one of those things it's like would you not just see them as the same as you, except maybe with, like, a cool skill? The same way you have, like, a friend who's good at singing, except he's just, like, a very famous singer? I don't know. I don't know. I know what you mean, but at the same time, you see so many people, so many celebrities, and how people deal with them. And it's like, but there's obviously (laughs) something. You know, people feel something. I ain't feeling nothing. I just look at you, (laughs) and I'm just like, you just a normal person to me, a stranger I don't know. at that. I don't, I'm trying to think because for me it's definitely a little bit of excitement. I don't think I'm the one to go up to someone. I think I'm too shy to do that. Not that I wouldn't. But why are you even I getting just, excited? Because I'm like, oh my god. So there was one time when we were in um, ramen. Was it ramen? Oh, the ramen bar. The ramen bar, and um, Grace Beverly was there. Right? I saw her. He saw. I, shut up. I'm upset. I saw her. And I love her so much. Like, she's also a celebrity crush. I have a lot of celebrity crushes. Anyway, that's besides the point. And she was there, and I heard the voice, but it nothing registered fast enough. And then Farouk was like, isn't that the girl that you follow? And then I just, like, saw the, like, bit of her hair as she, like, walked off. And I was like, oh, my God. That was Grace Beverly. Yeah, no, I see. I can give up. Fuck. Like, that's why if you guys ever come and interact with me, don't give a fuck. Just talk to me normally. Like, that's what, because that's what I would do if I saw someone. Yeah. Like, I, I think I've mentioned this before. Like, if I saw Skepta, I would never ask for, for, Skep, for Skepta. I'd be like, oh, hey. And then I'd be interested in, like, talking to him about a specific thing, mm-hmm. being like, mm-hmm. what made you decide to do this thing? 
right? Like, write this song. Because that's what I'm interested in. The same way I would be, like, if I knew someone and they did something, I'd be like, why did you do this? Or why did you, what made Because I'm just interested in the con- in the mind behind it, not actually interested at all in the um, the fact that you're famous. You I know? don't know. I think, for, I think it's just, for me, it is admiration. And maybe the way that I would display is different from you. Yeah. You know, because I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, but I, I would pedestals, also, pedestals, pedestals, yeah, pedestals. But I would also like to have a conversation. I think that's really interesting, especially with people that you admire for yeah. their work or like you know whatever it is. Um, but to go back to the point, yeah, tenure, obviously tenure is the heck. As a partner, knows guessing, me the best. Guessing nobody up for no one night stand. You don't. Like. <laughs> Also, okay. forgive me if I'm a little bit like tired. Eye wise, I only woke up from a little hour nap just there so yeah you are got crossed so tired you know uh, and i'm also here wearing my mickey mouse um it's not a onesie i don't know what they're called it's uh blanket hullover or something huh. a hoodie no i can't remember there was actually a specific name anyway that doesn't matter <laughs> on to the next one on to the next one would you rather be chronically underdressed or overdressed i think anyone who knows me i choose chronically overdressed simply for the fact that there are times you have to go to serious things in life and you can't be underdressed like it's just a bad look and like once again like you can say society this society that but like even for yourself like i wouldn't want to go to a certain thing i want to be underdressed i'd want to be dressed appropriately obviously i'm not allowed to be addressed appropriately i have to be either underdressed or overdressed I would rather pick overdressed all the time. I'd rather go to sleep overdressed. I'd rather wake up overdressed. I'd rather do my life overdressed than having <laughs> to fucking go to some like important business meeting mm. wearing fucking like fucking software engineering shorts and fucking flip flops okay. and a t shirt saying that may the fourth <laughs> be with you or something. And I'm like, oh. But well, that's very on brand. I was about to ask on you on brand with me, bro. No, but like you know, you you shouldn't. Uh, engineers generally aren't expected to dress to the nines or whatever. My question was going to be what like what is underdressed because there's levels to it, right? Depending yeah. on the occasion. So if it were an interview, you'd wear jeans. No, no, they say chronically. Oh, f- so you'd wear shorts. Like you're pretty much aye, wearing aye, aye. that Cali fit everywhere: shorts, flip flops. And a, and a quirky t-shirt. Do you know? I recently <laughs> found out that people like in Australia don't really dress up? Yeah, they don't. They just And that's class, chill. you know? They're really chill over there. But, you know, like when I have to go for an interview of some sort yeah. or kind of serious discussion or maybe trying to talk to someone to be a guest on the show and I'm just there looking like a bum, then they're like... But, w- but then people would be like, oh my God, he's so down to earth. You know, we like him. We Let's be relate. honest. The same people that are putting celebrities on pedestals are not the same people that are gassing you for being underdressed. <laughs> You'd be in the top of the, the, like the cover of a magazine, like the most hideous outfit. <laughs> oh my time. Oh my God. I can't believe it. You know, but the thing is, if you're, you see, the answer though would change depending on where you are already in mm, life. Yeah. If I was already rich and famous, I would be chronically underdressed. Yeah. Because I have, I, I will never be in a situation where I need to prove myself because everything I've already done has already proved myself, proven yeah. myself, right? And it's stupid that the fact that what you dress has that time kind of proves yourself or whatever. But once again, that's the world we live in. So like, that's what I'm saying. It's like one of those things, like if I was already rich and famous, I would choose chronically underdressed because everyone would know like, oh yeah, he's an amazing, like let's say I was a famous actor or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, my work speaks for itself. I have so much money. Everyone's going to want to work with me regardless. They, they, it would just be like, oh yeah, Freak is just quirky. You know, he always dresses under, he's always underdressed. That's his thing. It's like you know? Zuckerberg, you know? Yeah, yeah. But then when Fruk now, who's an engineer, is like, what a bum. <laughs> that's the thing like it's definitely context like who are you in life first yeah exactly it's like what a bum yeah i think um i I really had to think about this one because i hate standing out like but then you'd stand out if you're severely underdressed depending where you are i think you stand out worse but if you're walking on the street it doesn't matter there's there's different kinds of outfits like there's i see people walking into our dons in pajamas and one, no, once again, that's, that's fine in the area we live in. If you know the area we live in, that's fine. <laughs> well, let's say a Saturday, you're like, let's go town fruit. You're dressed 
like a bum, you're in town walking down Henry Street, Grafton Street, whatever the hell it is, you're getting stared at. Everyone's going to think you're a crazy what's person. A bum? If what's it a wasn't bum? for the fact that I was beside you, they would think you're a crazy what's person. What's a bum? What's a bum? Because like a bum. You, no, but you see, this is, this is what I mean. Like, it depends on the scenario because underdress going to town would just be wearing sweats. No, to that's me. not underdress because that's athleisure. Mm, yeah but i i like that's I, a cop out okay, that's, then, remember like i just said think about it i said it from a guy's perspective we're talking shorts fucking flip-flops but so what would i wear because the only tee. thing that's inappropriate is pajamas so i just wear pajamas everywhere and the dress like th- there guess. has to be something. yeah you know girls have actually kind of unlocked cheat code of the system because they're allowed to wear fucking leggings and all that stuff yeah. outside and it's not deep it's not seen as underdress yeah. but i don't know yeah and you know me i know i was gonna say like that whole juicy couture set but like so many people wear those anyway yes. thinking that they're dressed up um yeah i'd say like fuzzy slippers um, oh i would wear those put, in public. like you know pajama pants like the ones that you can tell are pajama pants see and nah, then like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just gonna be pajamas everywhere like that's yeah pretty just much not cool. yeah yeah you're wearing pajamas everywhere i guess that's chronically no, underdressed no i no i don't think so i i wouldn't be okay with that just because it's like Let's put it into more me underdressed. Like, well, like, yeah, I feel like that's what underdressed would be for you. But know? that's not fair because you get to wear shorts and a tee and I have to wear Bro, pajamas. it's freezing cold and I'm wearing shorts and a tee, please. Because God, the reason sweatpants point. are removed from me because the sweatpants aren't I'm, underdressed. No, it, but it is. the No, no, because the, the problem is chronically. No, I think this is a sticky one. Yeah. Because then obviously it's overdressed. That's the only logical answer if that's how we're looking at it. But now, let's take it the other extreme. You're overdressed and everywhere you go, you're wearing like couture on the street. No, like, but it looks cool because it's overdressed. I would absolutely... It looks cool. Imagine me in a puffy dress walking around Grafton Street, like strutting my stuff. Like, Well, once again, no. overdressed is... You get to choose how you're overdressed, kind uh, of thing. Ah, I see. Remember? No, because I didn't get to choose how I'm underdressed. Oh, well, okay, but still, like, overdressed sounds more, to me more like it looks cool, you know. But it doesn't necessarily. Oh, like, yeah. look at no, those. no, but where, like, when I hear underdressed, I hear not cool. Overdressed, I hear. Cool. I think underdressed can be cool if you make it look cool. It's really hard though, because you're underdressed it's like, for the it's event. Like underdressed so like for it's the like event. everyone, it's like everyone's wearing a suit. You're wearing sweatpants. It like you have to think about like some you know red carpet carpet events where you see yeah. some people in suits and then some people that are like strutting their stuff in jeans or like some crazy yeah, leather. But yeah, pants. but they're looking cool. Yeah, but and that's it's not under dress. Dress. It's not. It's not mm. really. It's not really. I would argue with that. I don't think it actually is. I think uh, that's I perfectly know. fine. I saw some girls back in the Disney days going sweatpants to a red carpet. Like anyway, but either way, I would be overdressed because I think I look hella fire <laughs> everywhere I go. I'm a little bit skeptical, but I would go with overdressed, but just assuming I'm not wearing poofy dresses for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Fair. On to the next question. Would you rather never be able to go out during the day or never be able to go out at night? See, I have to really, I have to really think about this one because what do I do during the day anyway? <laughs> but then I was like, wait a minute. I don't have a 24-7 gym. There's only one right answer here. During the day, I uh, choose to never be able to go out at night. And I'd hate it because a lot of the stuff I do is at night. Let me not lie. Like, when I leave the house, realistically. The only reason I leave the house during the day is because of shopping and stuff like that. You know? And uh, at night, I like to party and stuff with my friends. You know? So, I'm like, oh, man. I, get, I don't get Wait, a party anymore. I have a question about this question. Is it like... You, if you go during the night, it's only the night activities that are currently happening, or is it like always nighttime? No, you can only go out at, at nighttime, night. or you can only go out at daytime. Oof. So let's say the cutoff would be from five p.m. these days. No, 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 no. From six a.m. to six p.m. Mm. And then six p.m. to six a.m. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So the whole evening activities are lost to you if you choose the day. The whole morning activities are lost to you if you choose the night. You know, and that's one of the reason we choose six PM is because if you just said twelve, realistically you could go out a little cheeky little go out from ten to twelve, you know, but like it doesn't work that way. No, you have to be within the house at six PM. So no, I would have to choose day because I would rather actually wait a minute. Since we say six PM, I can go to gym between six and twelve. I can go to gym between six and twelve. Oh, 
the only thing that would be problematic would is the shopping. I don't think I'd have it till 6 p.m. That doesn't seem fair. I would put it as in, ah, like, like, a, like a normal person, regular day to day. Say it's like 8 a.m., mm, 7 a.m. to like 9 p.m. That kind of window. Because mm. by the end of 9 p.m., people are usually inside the house. Okay, 8 a.m. to know? 8 p.m. then. 8 a.m. Yeah. to 8 p.m. Okay. So we're saying 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mm. You see, that means I would have to go to this, this, all the stores that close at 10. And maybe the ones that close at 11 from Loki because we live in Ireland. We don't have any 24-7 shops. Yeah. And I would get to go to the gym only for like the two-hour gap that they're open. But isn't there a fly fit that's 24-7? There are gyms that are 24-7. Yeah, but then like after work, you now have to drive God knows to the 24-7 gym. But there's no one on the roads to, to, there is. to for blockades. There, yeah, there is. From eight o'clock, no, there is. People, people go like that's the busiest time. Peak let's say time. okay. Let's say I'm, then I can go at twelve a.m. Like, <laughs> but like your whole sleep schedule is messed up. But obviously, my sleep schedule is gonna be fucked up. <laughs> yeah. But like when the situation, but ooh, this is a difficult one. Yeah. I, you know what? We just have to give up motives. <laughs> we have to give up <laughs> partying. <clears throat> It's going to be a sad day for everybody involved that knows yeah. me. You won't be able to see my motives anymore. But uh, I'll have to pick during the day because it's just more economical for my life. Mm-hmm. Like, the, I trying to fit, squeeze things in at the end of the day is, in a realistic world, you could go to the shop at night, you know? In a real in a real world, in an idealistic world. Like, how about if I don't want to interact with people during the day, you know? Maybe yeah. I'm one of the night creatures, you know? But If you don't want to interact with people, not, you go at 9 a.m. There's yeah. No there. You know, so I'm not allowed. And most shops don't open until 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. So shopping would be completely gone to me. But I can order stuff. Yeah. But does deliver... And you can still get home delivery between 8 and 10. Yeah, you can. It's just the more you talk, the more it's like, oh, I need an excuse for this. Oh, I need a way around this. You yeah. know, so it's like... Like, it's definitely inconvenience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we live in a country in which it is inconvenience, yeah. yes. Yeah. And I think most countries in the world, to be honest, most people's cases aren't open that late because most people aren't up that late. Uh, but yeah, I would have to choose never be able to go out at night again, honestly. That was a long way to get there, but that <laughs> was my answer finally. So, um, I had to think about this one as well, just because I feel like we don't really leave the house during the day. But then you start thinking of like the little shopping trips or weekends like little brunches and i like i don't give a shit about brunches i'll tell you that i know this isn't about you (laughs) um you know and just kind of like going out and doing daytime activities and though even though it feels like we're kind of almost stay inside the house all day like imagine now like you can only say drive to places at nighttime like to truly or something that's fine for me personally yeah but it's like you can oh you, then you're there and you have to stay inside the house yeah exactly like no no nah. yeah it's a tough one yeah it's suck for traveling yeah you have to see everything at night <laughs> if it's open <laughs> if it's open like if you're lucky yeah actually it's no no brainer it's a no brainer it's a no yeah. brainer you can never go out at night again you know i was thinking though if i were in japan I would be okay with being only out of the di- night time. But then I don't get to see the beautiful like country and explore. Yeah, you can't so go to the parks or anything like that. So it's it's a wrap. Don't rate that. I'll yeah. just go to day parties. It's okay. Yeah, but that's only during the summer. Wait for that the summer. <laughs> we'll Literally, wait for summertime the summer. is the only time you could party because people do day parties, you know? <laughs> Every other time of the year, yes, no but party yeah, the for you. parties and stuff during the day, which is pretty cool. Yeah, no party for you. On to the next question. Would you rather always have BO and not know it or always smell BO on everyone else? I would always rather smell BO. I already have a sensitive nose. I'm smelling all your bad odor, all of you, all the time. Wait, you would rather have it yourself? No, I would rather smell everyone else's. I would. Could you imagine? I don't know anyone in their right mind who's choosing that they have it and everyone else smells it and they can't. But you don't know that you have it though. No, People will look at you weird. Are you not embarrassed? <laughs> Are you not embarrassed? Can you imagine? All your old people around you are just giving you side eye and you're just there, like not knowing. Like, God forbid, could never be me, bro. Could yeah. never be me. I will, I'd rather suffocate from everyone's smell than fucking let them do that to look at me, be like, you know, they Nasty. do. Nasty. Nasty. But then can you imagine how, how much stink? 
would be around you anyway. I'm already like that. I have a very sensitive nose. I smell all of you. I'm not capping. I have a ve- ass- I have a sensitive ass nose. I smell all of you. Straight Do away. Smell? The moment someone smells bad, my nose is like... Do I smell? No, you're good. You know, the moment someone smells bad, I'm like... And I just and I just fake the interaction the entire time. But I'm smelling you. Smelling you. Oh, yeah. I'd have to choose the same option. I just spray myself enough that I'm smelling myself when I'm walking around. Like, it's a no-brainer. But I like, don't know anyone in their right mind who would want it the other way around. If you are one of those people, why? Because it's like, well, I can smell it, so I'm avoiding the bad smell. But, like, girl, no one would want to be around you. You know, to be honest, I just... I, I, answered, I answered my own question because I realized why. And then I think I, was, I, I know people. I have met people who I smell have bad. <laughs> and they just live their life smelling bad. Like, not even just in that one instance. Like, multiple instances. They just let their life smelling bad. They don't care. So, you know, for you people, why? Why do you do it already? Why do you choose to do it? It doesn't take you too long to just, you know, rinse, rinse, wash, wash, done, done. I, I can't with you. Nah. On to the next one. Would you rather have a pause or a rewind button in your life? Well, you see, that, that was also one thing. That when I... I made that one. I was like, wait, should I add a number to this? Because how long can I rewind for? And, and how, how long, long can you pause for? Yeah. You know, how long? But then I realized that, no, it's kind of like a remote thing. You know, like you can. So re- forever. No, but the thing is, deep it, you cannot fast forward. You cannot fast forward after you rewind. But that's okay. You're just reliving it. You, depending on if you accidentally go too far. You know, like sometimes when you press no, the rewind button, you go too far. No, that's... No. no, I said button. I said button. Let's, it's one let's of them put things. a cap on it. Because right? I feel like it makes no, no, it easier. No, no, no. I like that because the thing is, it's one of those things that you have to press play at the right time when you rewind. And the pause that's, is fine. Can you imagine pause. just playing around with the button, but you can only go backwards and you're like, oh, I have to relive this. Let me go back. Yeah, no, like, that's, the th- that's the thing. You, so, I get old so fast. And then you and then you pause. You're allowed to pause uh, for whatever forever amount of time. That's fine as well. So you can rewind for whatever amount of time. You can pause for whatever amount of time. Everyone knows what I'm picking. Everyone knows to God what I'm picking. If you watch this podcast enough, this is not, if it's not your first time, you know what I'm picking. Like, little, what am I picking? You know what you're picking. What am I picking? Say it. Come on, tell me. No, <laughs> you say it. Nicoletta, that's the, the whole point is that everyone knows what I'm picking. <laughs> what are the options? Pause or rewind, bro. Which one am I picking? Oh, my God. Rewind, obviously. I'm obviously picking rewind. Obviously. Why? Because I will get the money, the numbers for the lottery. Oh, I'm just get, so over. Get the money. Listen. Anything that I rewind. You know, even if I have to rewind and relive three years again, I don't care. I'll buy bitcoin when it was cheap i Listen. don't care i will rewind for money but pausing uses no. to me but i was just thinking when i was reading the question that the pause option doesn't even make sense oh it does absolutely but like in what kind of instance other than you getting into an accident or something no man the pause is super useful how, you can, how, like how do I technically use you advantage? teleport technically it's teleportation because think about it right yes when you need to get somewhere right mm. you can get there Within the time, because you paused wait, time. Wait, hold on. You wait, hang, hold on. You paused everything around you. Yes. But you move on. Yes. I. How is that advantageous? So let's say it is five fifty nine. Yeah. Right. Right. Once again, all you all you people who are going to do the science on this whole shit of like, you know, oh, the whole. <laughs> well, if you have to do, we know. I know. How, I know how it works. I read comic books about the whole powers in real life, but we're just it's imaginary right now. But let's say it's five fifty nine. You are meant to be somewhere at six p.m. Right, but you took a long nap. You pause at five fifty nine. You do everything you have to do, and also go to the place you have to do, and you still get there perfectly on time. You will never be late for anything. Okay. In your life. Here's the thing. Let's put a timer on it. I feel like it's easier to choose that way. Let's put 30 minutes. You can rewind back 30 minutes or pause. I'm still minutes. rewinding 30 minutes. But you can't rewind further. Yeah, yeah, I'm still picking 30 minutes. Okay. I just keep redoing the same trades over and over in the 30 minute space. But isn't pause the same? No, because everything is paused. Oh, yeah. So pause is just so useless no pause is super advantageous as long as You're you don't have a timer it. as long as you don't have a timer on yeah, it yeah but think if things are infinite then it's still rewind what do you mean that's more advantageous uh yeah, it depends on who you are like 
rewind is not for the faint of heart. If you think you can rewind and make money, it does. You're not me. Please respect yourself. It's not that easy. Some of us, we just have the gift of the. Of, but like, of if you trade. were able to rewind, you'd live your whole life free. Like, say you go. No, by the way, you rewind into ex- past through experiences. By the way, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. I don't rate that. Like, I was thinking, I go for my appointment for my lip fillers. I get them done. I rewind, walk out of there with my lips done. No, like, your lips go back to the state they were. You ha- you go back to the state you were. That's, that's the thing. inconvenient. Whereas with pause, there is no. Okay, that's inconvenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's why I said. I, even if I have to relive 10 years, when it's not even relieving because by the time I make that money, I will, uh, at a certain point, to change the timeline changes, you know? Mm. It could, but before I make the money, I have to relive a bunch of shit that I don't want to relive. Okay, so <laughs> pausing works then for my advantage. Like, she does my lips, I pause time, I get out. Yeah, you stole from her. I didn't steal. <laughs> I used my power. But she remembers you, so you have to remember that. But she wouldn't remember. Because she's like, what happened after? How did she disappear out of my, in front of me? So you just make the poor woman go crazy because she's like, wait a minute, this <laughs> woman was here, on. I swear to God. I'm using my power. No, no, but the thing is, you could never go back there because she would be like, no, I go back. demon, how did you <laughs> disappear? You were One second you were there, the next second you weren't. No, I, I'd go back. No, no, that's You could I'm finesse saying. your way through everything in life. Uh, Nicola, there is literally security footage of you entering the place. But then there's but then nothing then there's after. No se- <laughs> You're just... The FBI, everyone will be coming after you because so they're like, what's So now it's becoming an inconvenience again. Can I use my power freely or not? <laughs> <laughs> this is frustrating. You can. We have to be smart about where you choose to use it. Man, I just use it stupidly and get caught clearly, so fast. Clearly, clearly, clearly. You are clearly getting, using this stupid and getting caught very fast. Anyways, on to the next question. Would you rather buy all used underwear or all used toothbrushes? You see, when I when I saw this one, I was like, "What? This one's actually hard." I would actually rather just use underwear because at least I can I can wash. I've, hold no, on, no, hold no. on, the, hold can, on, hold on, hold on. You can wash two brushes too, but it's hold just on. never the same. Hold on, say you buy it used, but you have to use it at least once, you before you wash it or clean it. So both the two brushes and the they're both used. And you have to use them both once before you uh, for a day before like, you can wash them. Yeah underwear still god knows i don't know where any of your toothbrushes have been i I would rather sit in poopy pants (laughs) and then wash those poopy pants than put poopy toothbrush in my mouth no (laughs) foul okay what if you knew that only one person brushed your teeth before you just don't know who it is but they only brushed your teeth once once and then if someone wore a pair of like underwear for like a day once but you don't know who it was either i still rather the underwear i feel like that's within my power of control and mental like but their juices are all like what if like oh i don't know i can wash my body i cannot wash my mind (laughs) that that stuff can enter your i can wash my body but i can't wash my mind that can lead like i think it's a lot more problematic for a woman maybe like yeah because i'm thinking of it like juices flowing in there yeah no for me it's not that bad okay so what if you get what if you get, what if you get like you know your Chad's underwear who has poopy stains in them? Well, Chad, I'm sure it's very nice and crusty and dry. So you know it'll just be a little rash for a while, and then uh, I'll wash the pants thoroughly as you should have. <laughs> Um, so it is what it is, but I'd rather that than have a fucking toothbrush that God knows has been wear, dropped wear, done wear. No, I, I said used mouth. once. Yeah, but still, that's disgusting. I know, but I feel like I'm like, who are you? Like the underwear is just not working for me right nah, now. Nah, the toothbrush is problematic. Anyone who's using pro- the toothbrush is problematic because they didn't I think even- they're both really, really bad. Yeah, but toothbrush is worse. Like it's a hundred <gasps> times worse. But I'm thinking of like oh. People's this crusty, is not this. This is juices. not this. This is not the same as you and me. Like it's like let's say we only have one toothbrush. You, you and I use it. I know you're clean. I know I'm clean, right? No, but like, oh. but I don't know. Like some random person going bacteria. <laughs> it's <laughs> covered in bacteria. I don't want to. Literally about covered it. in bacteria, and now you want me to put it inside my mouth. But how is the underwear? I would probably puke. I probably couldn't even brush my teeth. I'd be like. <laughs> wait but how is the underwear not filled with bacteria it's literally so much bacteria yes yes it is but it's it's not going in my mouth it's going on the surface of my body oh my god not on my mouth like it's not going into any orifice 
you know. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna choose the toothbrush. Moving on, guys. Think about it's problematic. I'm sorry. Ew, 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 ew. Red alert. <laughs> red alert. Red alert. Red alert. <laughs> okay. Would you rather give up your cell phone for a month or bathing for a month? Cell phone. That's really not hard for me. I don't even use my phone that much at all. I like. I'm probably one of the people that use the phone the least out of everyone I know. So, That's not true. Some some days you're on it more than I am. No. Once again, me replying to people is not the same as me like on my phone. Like you know, like some people are just chronically online, <laughs> like literally chronically online. I'm just like. Oh, Someone text me, let me reply. Man, you're on TikTok all day every day. Oh, that's funny. I was not even on TikTok today. It's because you were sleeping all day and working. No, actually I was working. working. You know, like I was busy today. And uh, so I would not give a shit about losing my phone for a month. Having, not having, bro, after not having a shower for a day, I feel disgusting. Yeah. Like yeah. there, the times when we're like traveling for a long day and I don't get to shower, I feel disgusting. What if you... Now imagine that times 30. I, disgusting what if you get to what if you get to use like a towel a washcloth or no, something no i want a shower i want a baby because i'm trying well. to think it's not really like equivalent they're not on the same level almost yeah, i feel like they're equivalent it, I, to me it would be like like some people feel like they would die without their phone for a day no i like, it is dramatic but they wouldn't die they literally no would not no die. no there are some people who there are literally people who are addicted to their phones i know like, i know a lot of people I know a lot of people, and you know who you are, who would choose to not have a shower for a month just to keep it on their phone for a month. I know who you are, and you know who you are. That's why... Who is that? Like, <laughs> where, whereas me, bathing is the only option. And that's why I left this here, because the comment sections are going to be wild. All you Gen Z kids... I don't know. ...going to choosing your cell phone over bathing, you're problematic. I think I have more faith in our generation. I don't. I have no faith in you guys. I actually do. I feel like, come on, use your sense. It's not forever. It's for a month. No, 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 no. You know? And for them, a month might as well be the rest of their lives. Oh, I don't know. They're like, what do you mean I can't use my phone for 30? <laughs> like, I get it, but I'm also like, you could literally do so you. many things. You, I'm not, not them. saying, I'm, I don't know. Like, I know that I would struggle because, especially because I like to go on and like post and like, I... I like the whole idea of like content creation and stuff. And I like being on TikTok. I like reading my books. I like having everything accessible. You can read books but in real life. That's what I mean. Like for a month. Like Yeah, well, they can't do that. So, and all of you guys are going to prove me right in the comments when she fucking <laughs> puts the little clip of it just saying, would you rather whatever. And I know for goddamn sure, some of you are going to be like, I would rather not bathe just so you can keep your grubby little dirty ass hands on your phone. You Cheeto finger mitt fucking bitch. Get out of here. <laughs> I have more faith in you guys, so you better prove me right because no, I know no, no, y'all no, will no, be okay no, no, for a month. And if you wouldn't, talk to me. Do you, no, we can talk, talk about to a it. therapist. <laughs> Go see a therapist. Talk to me first, okay? Okay. Will we do the last one? Yeah, you ready for it? Let's get it. It's a good one. Would you rather be beautiful and stupid or unattractive but a genius? Like, let me tell you right now. There's a, only one clear answer here, and I'll explain to you, kids. Listen up. There's a lot of beautiful, stupid, rich people, right? But very few fucking ugly geniuses. Do you know why? Because the only ones who are ugly and genius are the ones who got who put in extreme hard work and got a lot of luck. We're talking like the fucking Bezos and the fucking Elon Musk and all these guys, you know, who did whatever. You know, like, well, you know what I mean, but like um, I, billionaires, no, yeah. like, you know, like obviously the ugly genius will guarantee you more money mm -hmm. if you get lucky. But that's a big if. <laughs> see how many billionaires there are. But there's a lot of famous, stupid people, you know, don't lie. You see them on TikTok every day making money just because they're good looking. I would rather be yeah. stupid and beautiful because at least I know if I'm conv like seen as more conventionally attractive than the majority of conventionally attractive people, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to have clout of some sort. There's so many of them. You see it literally every day as you swipe on social media. So many stupid people that have so many followers and so much money. I mean, questionable on the their intelligence because we obviously we don't know, but then no, 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 some no, but some of them we've seen. Takes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, or they're like, answer questions and they're like, why do you know not, yeah. why don't you know that? <laughs> I thought I might have to fight you on this one because I was like, oh, he might go the like unattractive with smart and be the next Bill Gates, but like what are the odds, you know? Um, I think there's so, 
many disadvantages in this world to being on like pretty privilege exists yo and it's the thing like literally mm. even even if you're not like famous like yeah. your life is gonna be significantly easier you know if you are ugly i mean prettier yeah but the thing is the genius thing don't get me wrong is a big it's a big one up because like you'll get like a really high paying job yeah. you get it but at the same time people can treat you like shit as in in the sense of like you can be very like smart but you might not be in the right positions right mm. especially like if you grow up ugly and smart you might never get the confidence to put yourself in the good positions as in like there are lots of guys smarter than me they're making less money than me because they just don't have the confidence to negotiate or something like that so I they get shafted talking about this. you know i so, don't think anyone's unattractive guys i think you're all beautiful oh no absolutely but i'm just saying like growing up like unattractive can, can I know. affect I your confidence <laughs> like you know it can affect I your your confidence and everything like that so like it it can actually have negative effects long term in your life you know you might have a yeah. lot of anxiety around that or whatever but when you grow up beautiful everyone's airy fairy to you everything's airy fairy like you've been you've been told yes your whole life so you have the confidence of a fucking like goliath you know i heard um well i read something i think at some point that i was like oh how beautiful kids are raised and then reality hits them and stuff and it's like what reality are you talking about? Because all the, like, kind of dumb girls that I knew from school and stuff, they're all doing really well. Like, or oh, you see all the ones on TV shows, because I guess I was more prevalent before, like, TikTok yeah. and stuff. Uh, like, uh, every Romanian, <laughs> like, girl on TV, um, you know, is there because people like to always mock them or make fun of them but everyone always looks at them and listens to them they always get the clout and if they don't get the they're clout, for your only fans yeah they always get a rich man they're none of them are struggling mm -hmm. i swear so then it's like obviously as a female even more so than a male oh yeah absolutely more so than that it would be like you know i feel like for a girl this is only there's only, there's only one, one answer, answer. <laughs> there's, there's only, only one answer. there's only one answer because you're you're winning <laughs> like, oh 100 percent, 100 percent. and then you know you're you'll never have that kind of issue with finding a partner either or you know the like you said the confidence levels mm. and people like always treating you different which is really unfortunate and it makes me sad talking about it because everyone's attractive and i don't want anyone to feel unattractive because that's sad no they're unattractive people out of the world they're, i they're, i find but, everyone attractive but like beauty is in the eye of the beholder exactly. so like someone that's unattractive for one person is not unattractive for another person you know As is, and you know remember what i i it just consider yourself medium ugly then you have that <laughs> then you have weapon under i can under work with medium ugly i can work with that you know I like and then you, and you have power to your to your own weight and everything so well, yeah, no. Hope you guys enjoyed those questions. I always enjoyed the, this topic. Well, it's our second time doing it, but it's interesting because it yeah. allows me to ramble. And Nicola Love hates that. Because when she's editing it, she's going to be like, eh. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> well. I no, I think, no, I think, I think you did good. Like, I think I, this is interesting for us to talk about because generally we're a little bit different. And then our, I'm obviously always choosing the, Oh, dumb options or whatever. Yeah, the dumb options. But I always like to see the other side and to see, like, is there any advantages to this? Like, is there anything that this could benefit me, like, from and stuff like that? So I think that's why it works because I actually bother looking at the other side and then mm. you have to explain to me the other side and then I have, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let us know what you think. Which would you rather? Is, would you rather? Or send us in. Uh -huh. send, send some in. Yeah, us. send some in so we can put them in as well. Like, what's some interesting, quirky ones? Ones that we haven't done, obviously. If you send us one that we've done, I'm, not, I'm just airing you. <laughs> I'm not even going to like the message. I'm just going to air you. And until next time, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, follow, the rate, whole shebang. The whole thing. Till next time. Peace.